the odd thing is, it doesn't seem all that strange to be in bed with Matt and being recorded at the same time. Hey everybody, it's Adam Lee from Siduri Winery. I'm here with Matt from Siduri and also with Greg Brewer. You know Greg from Brewer Clifton Winery. Greg was the founder there. He's also one of the most talented winemakers in all of California and certainly the most talented winemaker in all of Santa Barbara County. We're here to introduce you to the wines from this fantastic area, so let's enjoy it. Greg and Adam, it's really nice to be sitting here with you guys. Uh, you were both featured in a book that I read when I was a youngster, uh, New Classic Winemakers of California. In elementary so, school? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now that you're just classic winemakers, what makes Santa Barbara so special and the wines here so distinctive? Greg, you've been here longer than I have. Yeah, this is really all I know. Uh, Santa Barbara, it's a crazy unique area. You know, it, it's so uncommon in life to have a cool area coupled with a predictable area, right? Normally, predictability sure. comes with warmth. And because of the orientation of the valleys, the proximity to the ocean, and really cold water here with the Pacific. I think the average person makes the assumption that because it's further south, it's warmer. And it's just the opposite, given, as you said, the opening to the ocean. I mean, getting fruit from Oregon all the way down to Santa Barbara, we get the best acidity here in Santa Rita Hills. It's pretty remarkable. 2017, first year for me right. in Santa Maria. It's kind of fun to have a new, I mean, doing this 25 years and you end up with a new region for yeah. you. Yeah. Matt, just on the drive down, we were talking about there's no better Santa Maria winemaker than you. And, you know, <laughs> yeah, he was. He was, yeah. he was kissing your ass even when you weren't around. So it was nice. I'm absolutely thrilled to be in Santa Barbara. I mean, there is a personality to the wines and these vineyards that uh, really reveals itself without us forcing it. You just nudge it in the right direction and watch it go and you get these beautiful savory notes and just like really perfumed fruit and nice structure and acidity to really hold it all together. Part of what I'm excited about is to make a Pinot Noir this complex, this interesting, at a price point that people can afford and buy and enjoy more frequently. I think that's really important. Oh my gosh, it's critical. We both enjoyed a certain era in the wine world and I think it's so rewarding to now find ways to do things in the most qualitative and kind of efficient way possible so as to maintain a price point that's accessible and people can try it and people can have that trial opportunity with Santa Barbara without the pricing being prohibitive. And reaching those far-flung markets, you know, I remember growing up and being fascinated with Pinot Noir and being able to find a really good Pinot Noir that speaks of its place at a reasonable price is kind of hard to find, so I'm really proud to be bringing that. Yeah, in Kentucky? It was not the easiest place necessarily to find it. <laughs> yes. Looking back in the rear view mirror of the past 25 years has been really, it's cool, and now seeing a new era and a new chapter with Siduri, with Santa Barbara County, with everything. It's a beautiful evolution, and I think, you know, the best is yet to come, for sure. Yeah, and I'm thrilled to continue that evolution, you know, and hopefully carry it forward Hold another, on. you know, yeah. 25 <laughs> yeah. years or so. I mean, but see. don't forget, we're not dead yet either, so okay? <laughs> 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 